Hello gang, I'm not on camera today, Tailbone Terry here. I'm going to show you how to modify this V912. It's pretty simple, it's pretty easy. Um, you'll need a Dremel tool. If you don't have one, maybe you can borrow one. They're not that expensive and there's a lot of uses. You'll need a cutting tip. Um, get yourself one or just borrow one. You'll need a pair of safety glasses. and They're pretty cheap, you can buy them almost any place and you're set to go. A little bit of masking tape, uh, which I use, and uh, I also put the link on how to modify the radio. If you do these mods to the V912 and the radio, you have yourself a really good heli, all around heli. Um, I would advise you to put the MJX F45 motor in the heli also. Um, it's not that expensive, it's a little bit more heavy duty, and you'll love it a little bit faster. Do these mods, uh, real cheap, not a lot of money to these mods, and uh, not a lot of time to do these mods. And uh, you'll have a little bit more fun down the road, the motor is going to last a little bit longer, where you won't have to re be replacing these motors all the time. And if you do the switch mod, you want it to be holding this in all the time. So, with that said, let's get on with the show, and I'll show you how to do some of this. Hello gang, today we're going to take this V912 and do a few mods with it. Uh, this one has not been modded yet and there's a few things we can do to keep the motor a lot cooler. Um, I do my mods with the motor in. You can certainly take the motor out but I just do it with it. To me it's just as easy and uh, it's very quick. First of all we want to make sure all these wires are down out of the road there's a wire tie on here. I cut this wire tie and loosen up these wires. And I normally take a piece of masking tape and kind of slide it underneath there because we're going to cut this black shield here over top of the motor. And I just do that to kind of help get the wires down a little bit and plus if there was any plastic or um, loose a material flying around it doesn't fly down in the motor itself. So just cut a piece of masking tape and you can slip it right under there and it goes pretty easy and just tape it down. And what we want to do is we want to cut, uh, take a Dremel tool with a cutting disc on it and we want to cut this out, this out, and this out. We really don't need that and it impedes uh, the coolness get down in the motor airflow. So with that, a pair of safety goggles, absolute must. You want to get them on. And you just fire up your Dremel here. Just go nice and easy with it. Don't take much. Cut it right in there. Like I said, you have to go nice and easy. Come around this side. Move these blades over here. And you can see it loosen right up. It's a light touch, light, nice and easy and it should come right out of there. And you can take a pair of wire cutters and trim it up and get these little edges off. And now you got something that um, the coolness can get down in on the motor because it exposes the top of the motor a lot more. And uh, the whole trick is to keep this motor cool. And that is a trick because I've replaced motors on here. The next thing we're going to do, and there's a couple different ways you can do this, a couple different uh, things on the internet. Some guys take all this apart, I don't. I take a Dremel and I score it right here, and I just bend it until it snaps, then I bend it some more and it snaps off here. So we're going to do that next. We take our Dremel.
and just get in here nice and easy. So I'll score that a little bit, get it speed it up here just a little bit more. You can see she scored just a little bit there. It's not, it's not cut all the way through. It's just scored slightly. So we should be able to take this pair of needle nose and get in there and bend this out. I'm doing this left-handed. My left hand is not real, real good, but um, it should bend out. And you can see it's bending out pretty, pretty quick. We might have to cut it just a little bit deeper. And I believe we will. So let's go a little bit more. See what we got here. See if she'll snap off now. Some of these are a little easier to bend out than others, and some are not, but she should snap off. And she did. Okay, and there's a screw down here we gotta take out. We gotta get that out of the road. That'll be the next thing get out and that's pretty easy removal pull it right out of there it's out it's off of there so she should bend out of there there she comes there's one piece and we can just wiggle this back and forth and there's the piece and that exposes the motor which allows a lot more cooling to get in and we'll do the same thing to the other side um, we'll take the Dremel and we'll score the other side and get it off of there. here. There she comes. This side come out a lot easier than the other side. Right off she comes. Now your motor is exposed and if you have any issues with the motor you can remove it a lot quicker. I'll trim this up a little bit get this looking a little bit nicer and uh, the air for your motor gets to it a lot better. I will add a heat sink here and I would suggest you do that also. Put a heat sink on your motor and uh, that will help anticipate the heat uh, from your motor. I, I've flown these and I'll have a chart down below and I lasered the motor when I was done flying them and the center of the motor was over 130 degrees and it stayed pretty hot for at least 35 minutes. It did not reach back to room temperature took about 35 36 minutes for it to get back to room temperature so with this done I'm going to reach room temperature a lot quicker with the heat sink on even more quicker so I would advise everybody to do this on the V912s uh, uh, it's not that hard to do it's real simple to do on the fuselage I also took the light out of the fuselage and drilled the hole bigger so air at least comes in through here because the whole thing is there's not much air so every little bit helps is it a final fix don't know but uh, for now it seems to work pretty good and also the 
the, the motor, um, changing its motor from the original to um, the MXJ45 is brilliant. It works real well. It fits right in. You don't notice much difference. Just a little bit of the low end torque is not there because it's an extra tooth, but it flies a lot faster. The motor is a little bit more heavy duty and it seems to uh, last a lot longer than the original motor. The wires are a lot thicker than these on the MXJ. Um, the only thing with the MXJ is the polarity is reversed on mine it was so I had to switch these. You can either unsolder them or cut them and switch them here. I cut mine and switched there. I resoldered them here and put some heat shrink on them on mine on another uh, B912. But uh, try this mod. It works well. Real easy to do. You don't even have to take the motor out. As you can see I didn't. Some guys do. Your choice. The transmitter mod, I'll put a link on to the video. To okay, once you mod these V912s, they run fairly cooler. They run a lot uh, more efficiently. Um, but I would recommend everybody doing this mod. Mod, and that's pretty simple. You add this switch instead of pushing this down. I have mine wire that you can still use this. But who wants to hold this down the whole time? You can just throw this. I'll put a link on so you can modify your radio. You'll be able to modify your helicopter. And then put in uh, MX. I'm sorry. I get confused. I said MJXF45. Let me pronounce that again. It's an MJXF45 motor. It's about $8. Uh off the internet and uh, a couple weeks shipping you got it in stock and I ordered two to have a spare and the heat sinks also um, tail heat sink I think is around twelve dollars and this one's around eight or nine bucks so with them mods you have yourself a great little heli once again the motor you want to go to is an MJX F45 and the mod, do this mod to the transmitter, and you're set to go. I mean, you you have yourself a great flying machine. This is Tailboom Terry. I'll see you all down the road. Happy flying to everybody.